Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Cassell. I'm going to record this video quick. I just heard my kids wake up from their nap, so we'll try to crank this out here. I've got questions about this 9.4 relative motion simulation from the physics aviary. So I want to give you some examples to help you get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So here, read the directions first. Determine the velocities of both boats relative to the shore and the ve velocity of the boats relative to each other. Use the lamp pole in the foreground, the size of the boats, and the running clock to determine their speeds. When you are ready to start the problem, click on the button below. When you finished, click on Submit Your Answers. So before I click on the Begin button, I actually have a little preparatory work to do, right? I need to think about what's happening here and make some plans. So they show me in a little picture preview down here, but so before I impulse click Begin, Okay, I'm going to have two boats that are moving. There's a clock that tells me what time, and there's this big old lamppost on the pier that is a nice straight line. These boats are going to pass by this lamppost, which gives me a fixed position that I can use to compare their motions. The task tells me I need to figure out how fast they're going relative to the shore. So that means if I'm just standing there by the lamppost, for example, and measuring how fast they're going in either direction, well, that gives me an idea, right? I'm going to be able to tell how fast they're going from that position. Then the second part, relative to each other, that means if I was sitting on the deck of one of these boats and looking at the other one, how fast does the other one appear to approach me or move away from me, depending on the situation. Um, you'll notice if you tried this more, one time, more than one time, it gives you a different uh, random simulation each time. So um, what I'm going to do before I get started here is uh, set up a little table for myself. The first time I did this, I did this in my notebook, but um, in order for it to show on the screen, I'm going to type in here. So I'm going to have, you know, which boat is it? I need to figure out like what distance, and that's going to come from the length of the boat. I'm going to figure out what time some parts of this take. And then I'm going to use that to calculate speed. So I've got boat one and boat two. So this is the data that I need to collect from this little app, right? So, oops, I clicked the wrong tab. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. So as this gets going, I've got the clock going. Pro tip, having done this more than one time, there's a pause button right here. And the best way to get an accurate pause is to click it and hold it until the moment. So I'm going to click it, I'm holding it, and stop. I stopped it right there as the point of this ship touched this one. Okay, is it silly of me if I decide I'm going to reload this? Because these are two very similar velocities, and I'd prefer to have a dramatically different one for my example. Oh, this one's good. Okay, so here we go. I got my two boats. They're moving along. So I'm going to wait till this boat, oh gosh, it's going fast. I'm going to click and hold pause. As soon as the tip of it touches the lamppost, oh, I'm going to let go. All right, so here we go. So this boat has a total length of 24.6 meters. Right now, the clock says 1282. So the time that it takes here is going to be my final time minus 1282. And so I'm going to let the simulation run again, and we'll see what happens. And then it said the length of that particular boat was 24.6 meters. 24.6 meters. Okay, great. Uh, and I'm assuming this is seconds. Um, I didn't look at the thing. What does it say on my clock? Seconds. Okay. So now I'm going to click resume, and I'm going to let this go until either the nose in the next boat touches or the back of this boat pat lines up with the lamppost. Here it comes and chook. Ooh, there we go. That was a little better. I had to do a fast tap there. Okay. So 22.59 seconds. So um 22.59 seconds. So the difference between those two is going to tell me what my total time is, and I'm going to use that to calculate speed. I'm going to get the rest of my data first and then I'm going to do my math. 40.1 meters is the length of my second boat. Now, depending on what version of the simulation you get, you might have to be a little more creative. You might have two boats that are passing at the same time over the lamppost. That's what happened to me the first time I did it. And they were going in the same direction, so it was like a race. So now I'm going to resume the simulation, and I don't care about that green boat, boat number one. I'm looking at boat number two now. 
and I'm going to wait until it gets its nose right on the lamppost as well. You can imagine if you were sitting on the bow of one of these boats. There we go. So 36.41. You can imagine if you were sitting on the prow of one of these boats that these guys would look like they were approaching each other pretty quickly because um, they're heading towards each other, right? Resume. Now I just need to wait for this boat to pass by. Oh my goodness, I hear my babies in the baby line. They're happy for the moment. If they start wailing, this is going to get exciting for everybody. Okay, come on, boat two. You can do it. You ever had this moment? You're sitting in a car driving down the highway, especially if you're on a long road trip, and you look at the car next to you, and you have that briefest of moment that your brain can't tell if it's stationary or moving. That's pretty close. I'm going to take it. 69.32. Okay, so I've got for this one. Oh, oh, it thinks it's that. 69.32 minus. Okay, so now I have a teeny bit of math to do. I'm going to open up my calculator. Check out this great selfie I took in the middle of the night. So calculator, where are you? There we go. Um, I'm trying to capture my mood. I think I did it very successfully. Okay, I'm going to do my first one, 22.59 minus 12.82. That equals 9.77 seconds. And my second one is going to be 69.32 minus 36.41, 32.91 seconds. So I now have a distance and a time. Rather than speed, I'm going to help these be, well, well, we'll do it with speeds, okay? So we're going to calculate what these speeds are, okay? So I've got 24.6 divided by 9.77. That's distance divided by time. 2.5, yeah, I'm going to round it to 2.5 meters per second. And then my second boat, 40.1 divided by 32.91. This is 1.2 meters per second, okay? And I want to make a note, too, that this one was going to the left and this one was going to the right because the direction is going to be important here, okay? So that takes care of the first part of this. My second question is, now if I was sitting on the bow of one of these boats and looking at the other one approaching me, how quickly will it appear to be traveling? These two things are heading towards each other, so... That distance is closing faster than if one boat was stationary and the other one was moving at 2.5 meters per second. So I'm actually going to add these speeds, okay? To find relative speed, you really are doing a little bit of, uh, or we're treating uh, these scalars like vectors, honestly. We're going to find, um, normally what we find is we find the difference, no, oh, I can spell, of the two speeds. Um, because that's imagining one is at rest. The difference between those two speeds is how quickly the other one will be approaching. In this case, I've got one going to the left and one going to the right. So I'm going to pretend that this one is negative. I'm going to treat this like velocity rather than speed. So I've got, I don't know if you can hear my kids on the I've got minus a minus 1.2. <laughs> my kids are so awake upstairs, you guys. Oh my gosh. 3.7 meters per second is how that distance is changing between these two boats. So I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. I'm going to click end. Um, my name is Mrs. Kasum. The boat um, number one I said was 2.5. I'm just putting the numbers in. I don't need the units. Boat number two relative to the shore was 1.2. Hopefully it doesn't require the negative. I guess we'll find out. And then the relative speed I found was 3.7. Let's submit. What do you know?
there's a reason I'm the science teacher. Okay, everybody, I hope this helps you solve this problem. You saw an example, how I used it to find relative speed, and probably your common sense told you how to do this. Um, notice the rounding errors are not important, and this doesn't tell you if you got it right or wrong. If you made slight variations in your math, but they're pretty close, please submit the screenshot. It's okay if it is not exactly what the answer is for these actual speeds, okay? So, 